For Secretary of Housing and Urban Develop, I am, I am really pleased to nominate Congressman Marcia Fudge. Marcia Fudge was born in Cleveland and moved to the suburbs, graduating from Shaker Heights High School, a community renowned for its efforts towards racial integration. I played volleyball, I played um, basketball, field hockey. I was the goalie on our on our high school field hockey team. Wow! I mean, I lettered in like I mean, I, I lettered in six or seven different sports. So I, I played a lot of sports in in high school. One of those varsity letters came in fencing, which led to a televised duel against Stephen Colbert years later. If I win, you make me a member of the Congressional Black Caucus. Fudge went to Ohio State University, playing basketball her freshman year, and graduated with a degree in business, and later attended law school at the Cleveland Marshall College of Law. She practiced law for a few years and then became the chief of staff for her friend, Stephanie Tubbs Jones, during Jones' first year in Congress. But before even spending a year in D.C., controversy strikes and an opportunity arises. The mayor of her hometown in Ohio, Warrensville Heights, was indicted yes. um, and was forced to resign. A lot of community people were coming to say, we really want you to run. And so I ran uh, and I won. After eight years as mayor, tragedy. Stephanie Tubbs Jones has died after suffering a brain hemorrhage. And a seat in Congress opens up. And so we're very close and I wanted to be sure of two things. One is that her work would continue and secondly that her legacy mm -hmm. would be what I thought it should be. The party selected her to run and she won, filling her friend's seat. And Fudge quickly makes her mark in the Capitol, becoming the chair of the Congressional Black Caucus from 2013 to 2015. We pride ourselves on being what we call the conscience of the Congress. We fight for people who are poor, uh, people who are disadvantaged, people who are underserved, no matter their race. Mr. Speaker, I rise today on behalf of Americans 12 and a half million obese youth. Not only are minority voters less likely to possess an ID, but they are also more likely than white voters to be selectively asked for an ID. Mm -hmm. So when people say that this does not affect the African-American population, something is, is amiss in their thinking. If the role is to prepare young people for the workforce, why are we cutting the budget? She became DNC chair in 2016 after the Debbie Wasserman Schultz email scandal. And her time in Congress wasn't without a controversy of her own. She had vouched for a man found guilty of domestic abuse, but in 2018 it came back to haunt her when he murdered his wife. These series of letters from 2015 show support of now disgraced former Cuyahoga County Common Pleas Judge Lance Mason. He pled guilty to domestic violence in an incident with his then wife, Aisha Frazier, all years prior to her stabbing death. Congresswoman Marsha Fudge, a self-described friend, wrote in August of 2015, Lance accepts full responsibility for his actions and has assured me that something like this will never happen again. Following the death of Frazier, Representative Fudge released the following statement that reads in part, My support of Lance in 2015 was based on the person I knew for almost 30 years. The person who committed these crimes is not the Lance Mason familiar to me. Despite the controversy, the vast experience Fudge accumulated during her 12 years on the Hill led to a flurry of speculation over her potential cabinet position. Northeast Ohio Congresswoman Marsha Fudge, reportedly a finalist for Secretary of Agriculture. Congresswoman Marsha Fudge, one who might add, could do a, many jobs beyond the one I'm asking her to do. Ultimately, Biden picked her to lead the Department of Housing and Urban Development. There is dignity and there is grace within every woman, every man, and every child in this nation, including those who live on the outskirts of hope, those who work hard but still struggle to make it work, and those who have no place to lay their head. It is one of the highest responsibilities of our government to see them, to see their dignity, and to lift them up. And our task at the Department of Housing and Human Develop Urban Development will be to stand up for the dignity of all Americans and deliver the promise of our nation to all those left out in the cold. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.